One of the more common ways of carrying a smart car or toys behind one of our RV haulers is with a flat bed behind the truck. So behind the sleeper we've got that flat surface, we can load up our motorcycles or our smart cars, but getting it up there is the question that everybody always asks me. How did you get it up there? Well you'll see built into the bed just below the top surface is some storage for ramps. And if you take a look at my website under my bed section you'll see that two ramps extend out the sides of the uh, off of the bed and we use a winch to pull the smart car up on top of the bed. Well, some people are not excited about those ramps or they're interested in carrying motorcycles. And of course, driving a motorcycle or your beautiful Harley up a, a ramp isn't the most exciting thing or comfortable thing for most people. So, what we have chosen to do for some of our customers that are interested is we're designing a hydraulic bed. This bed behind me will tilt up, slide down onto the ground, you drive your smart car or your motorcycle on top of that surface and the bed will pull back up in behind the sleeper. And that's what we're starting here in the shop. Uh, let's go take a look at prints. Welcome to the welding shop here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. A lot of you might recognize the truck behind me. That is Ed's Prints. It's Prince Charming. Yes, that's the uh, 2009 Volvo 880. Pretty rare truck. Uh, as far as we know, this is the only 880 that's been converted into an RV hauler. I want to show you what's going to be happening to this truck to make it even more special than it already is. So what we're building on Prince here is a design of Henry Schmitz. This is going to be a hydraulic loader. You'll see uh, this is what I call my basic smart car bed. It has not been skirted. Uh, we put this bed on Prince for testing purposes. Uh, it is a smart car bed that uses ramps, so the ramps mount there and they arch down towards the ground. That right there is the storage for them. And of course, you can bolt on or bolt off the chocks on top of this bed. It's heavy gauge steel, checker plated. It is actually box liner. It's like a Linex material, so it's a rubber, kind of stiply, grippy material. And the chocks get mounted here, and the wheel baskets go up and over and tie down to those D-rings. But this bed was put on prints temporarily. Uh, we took this truck down to the National Rally in Hutchinson, Kansas. So a lot of folks saw this truck there. Of course, it's been outfitted with our favorite hitch, the ET hitch designed by Henry Schmidt. And the plan today is we're going to be taking this temporary bed off of prints and we're going to be installing something pretty special. Now here at RV Haulers we've been working with that very talented fellow Henry Schmidt. He of course has built one of these and we've got uh, permission and his blessing to build another one and it's going to be put onto this 880 making it a pretty special truck. And in this video series I'd like to take you through this build and show you uh, what's going to be taking place and what goes into one of these builds and what's going to be underneath that deck to make it work. I'm on camera. <laughs> All right. For the past week, we've been ordering quite a few parts and getting a few uh, really custom parts, uh, specially laser cut. Let me show you a few of those things that have arrived. 